If you spent money building your website, then your website had better make you back some money and more. Hi, my name is Henry and I'm going to show you how to structure a high converting website. Let's go. This design tutorial is for food photographers, thanks to your votes on Instagram, but it can also apply to any creative field. Restaurants need savory photos to show off their menu to their customers in flyers and in social media. So, they will need a professional to get the job done for the right price. That in itself is the expo. Your landing page should show your portfolio, your price range, a calendar showing your availability, and then a contact form. Once clients know these details, it's easier for them to contact you. We call these quality leads. We all love quality leads. If you are building your first website, or you intend to revamp an existing one, then you need to conduct some keyword research. Here's what I mean. The simplest way is through Google. When you type food photographer into the search bar, just before hitting the enter key, you will see related searches from real people in your location. If you then hit the enter key and scroll to the bottom of the search page, you will see even more related search queries from what? From real people in your location. An advanced method is to use Google's Keyword Planner, which you already have access to with a Gmail account. It provides search queries and keywords that you can include in your website for improved SEO. A mood board is a board full of moods. <laughs> Jokes aside, it's a board where you can place ideas. Pinterest is a great app because it contains a galore of images which you can use as inspiration from other creators. You can use any app, to be honest, that allows you to impute text and images. As for me, I just take screenshots and save them all in a folder. So find several websites that appeal to you and get inspiration. So now, with the above out of the way, our food photographer can start building his website. First, you need to head over to your preferred CMS platform and sign up or log in with an email address. I recommend Squarespace because it's easier to use than the rest of them, my personal opinion. Now, choose a template that matches your mood board. This is one of the more tedious processes, so take your time and don't rush. Slow touch, brown or white, like I got punch. Don't rush. Stop it. Get some help. As I mentioned earlier, your homepage as a food photographer needs to show your portfolio with a strong call to action. It also needs to show your price range, a calendar showing your available dates and also a contact form. Any extra information like reviews or about me, put them in separate pages. Now with this structure, use your creative discretion and brand guidelines to build an awesome website. Once you have built your amazing website, test it with a reasonable amount of people, say about 100 people. You can achieve this easily with a Google form. All you need to do is include your website link in it and then an area where people can leave you feedback. To reach 100 people quickly, simply create a social media ad and include the Google form as your landing page. If you don't use social media, then send it to friends and family and beg them to send it to their friends and families. Just use social media ads. Did you find this video helpful? Let me know by clicking the like button or leaving a comment in the comment section below. That's it from me. See you in the next one. Peace.